Hello there, my name's Carlo. Welcome to another After Effects tutorial. Um, or it's not really a tutorial, it's more of a look. Um, I've been covering a lot um, recently the um, elements packages which are being released by Video Copilot. So I thought I'd make a change and just have a look at some of the um, element suites or elements um, packages within um, Apple or on, the, on the Mac and just to see if they look as good as the ones they do on the PC even though they're the same prog uh, program but I do find that some programs do a lot look a lot better on the Mac um, anyway so let's just um, create a new composition um, and a new solid so we can basically open up elements so we're going to go to effects video copilot element and we're just going to have a look at uh, a bit of jet, jet strike um, for the first video just to see um, basically how it looks so I've got my jet strike installed there um, I want to throw a couple of these jets into a composition uh, just to see how they look um, and that's it basically it's just a bit of harmless fun so normally I've covered you know things like big planes and stuff like that but I've never sort of covered uh, you know the ground assault um, jets we've got a daytime one obviously and we've got a night time so let's, let's let's just have a look at the the daytime jet um, and as you can see um, uh, as, as as normal they're pretty high um, polygon models um, I'm just gonna take the draft draft textures off so we can just have a look at it in a bit more uh, detail as you can see uh, maybe turn some lighting on um, you know everything in this you know is like fully riggable as you can see um, which is fantastic you can move the propellers um, you can move the you know the, the wheels at the bottom come out uh, so on and so on so let's just put this first one into a comp uh, and just see how it performs um, on the uh, Mac side of things so I'm just gonna click OK um, and then I'm gonna go land new camera um, keep it to 80 mil, and let's just play around um, with the performance. As you can see, this is only half, but it rendered very nicely. As you can see, very sort of high quality, even on uh, a half render. Um, so we're going to put it to full um, and see how it performs. It still performs very, very well. Um, I must admit I have got a very high quality graphics card in this machine um, which um, runs CUDA uh, very very well so um, obviously you've got all your, your bits and pieces down here um, you know you've got your ailerons, rubber, the flaps, you know you've, you've got your landing gear that you can sort of open out and then you can sort of throw your own background into, into the composition um, and do what you want with it. So let's just go back into scene setup um, and let's just shut that plane off for now um, and just have a look at a few more um, jets that we've got within Jet Strike. As you can see, very sort of high quality jets. Everything again fully riggable, as you can see. Very, very high quality, as you can see. Um, so let's put this baby into a composition this time let's change the environment map um, to that so we have a bit of sort of greeny texture so it looks like it's flying over a forest uh, click OK to that comp and as you can see um, the jet goes in pretty pretty well within that composition um, we can open the weapons bay as you can see weapons bay is opening at the bottom um, very very nice stuff really it's not only that you know the, the, the canopy opens as you can see so you can see the pilot you know your exhaust flap opens up and we can also modify this um, within um, After Effects as well by going to output so by going to render settings no it's not so I'm being a div we want to go to multi-pass mixer I've done this about a hundred times um, and we can sort of do things like turn the specular up uh, turn the ambient lighting up so we can get it brighter or darker um, to sort of match our scene, uh, our reflectivity, um, our reflection maps and our illumination maps as well. 
So, to me, I actually do think that Jetstrike runs a lot better on the Macintosh. Um, this is um, a Mac Pro, so um, that would explain it, but um, at the same time, I do have a very, very high quality um, sort of graphics card within my Mac Pro as well, um, which does help um, the situation or help it run a lot better. It just feels a lot nicer to sort of uh, play around with this you know I have done it on the PC side but it's always been a little bit sort of you know juddery um, to some point even with a, a really good sort of uh, a graphics card um, installed within the system um, but it just feels a lot nicer to operate um, and control um, within um, the Mac version of After Effects even though yes a lot of people are going to say well what's the difference they're both the same what you're talking about you're talking about your ass no you know really I ain't <laughs> uh, trust me I've been using After Effects um, all the way from the beginning from when it first came out um, and I do find that the Mac one um, or the Mac version of After Effects does actually run a lot better than the PC one um, which is very surprising um, because uh, like I said in a couple of my videos you know After Effects is designed on PCs for um, PCs so yeah I thought this would be an interesting video to do and sort of you know as I've done so many Jet Strike and you know Element videos um, for PC it would be fun to do it for the Mac um, side of things as well so you know if you guys you know did want to get um, you know the elements uh, or elements for for Mac and was sort of worried you know about whether it would perform or not or how it would perform um, I will simply say to you this it performs absolutely fantastic so I'll just show you a couple more bits um, let's just go back into our scene setup again. You know, we can have a couple of look, look at a couple of other things. I mean, even with Metropolitan Pack, for instance, um, I've got um, this is a really good card, the 275, and it is recommended by um, After Effects. You've got the After Effects forum. Um, this is in their top 20 cards to use with After Effects um, because of how it performs. Um, which is great so you know normally if you'd get sort of like something like this which has got a lot of building sort of built in um, when you sort of put it into After Effects on the PC if I just turn my texture details off so we can get sort of full um, details of uh, sorry the, the, the model in full detail um, if you was to say for instance we've got this like this I'll import it into a scene okay um, and then I'll use my camera to sort of scale it down if you if you try to do this on the PC side it would lag and you, you can feel it judder I don't know why I don't know why because in the PC I've actually got a really good um, graphics card in there so it shouldn't do that even when you sort of zoom in um, and this is with you know screen flow running as well remember um, it would it would really really lag bad and you would see the performance drop even with a model like this um, so even if I sort of put it to full um, sort of render when we're sort of panning around it, it moves very very smooth at full frame rate so we can sort of model um, with ease if that makes sense um, and the funny thing is um, with this card for some reason I can't seem to access the CUDA cores so this is just using standard open uh, open gl open cl sorry uh, within the card it's not even using the full cuda um, acceleration of the card um, so when i do actually get the cuda support for the card um, this is going to be phenomenal um, to sort of work with um, it's going to be really good it's pixelating at the moment i don't know why um, but you know the card absolutely performs absolutely fantastic um, within the Mac version so yeah I mean I hope this video has been been informative um, it was just something to sort of bring up because I thought it was relevant um, but yeah I hope to see you guys in the next video um, give this a thumbs up give this a like 
and like I say it's just a video just giving you my opinion on elements um, within After Effects on the Mac um, just to give you a rough idea of how good it really is because it is really 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 good okay thank you for your time guys and I'll see you in the next video